Yeah, yeah. I'm, already I'm already woke, woke. yeah. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now, my name is John Kang. I am the owner of the famous Dumpling Bros food truck here in Denton, Texas. I uh, wanted to uh, start our series on how to open a food truck. Uh, I hope that this uh, series will help you uh, if you're in your infancy stages uh, or if you're just in your idea stages or, or whatnot. Um, I didn't really have anyone to walk me through, um, you know, to start a food truck and uh, I felt like the industry um, kind of kept their secrets to themselves and so we want to bless you uh, in a way where we haven't, um, uh, we've been blessed so, so much so we just want to bless you. And, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of feedback from the industry saying, hey, why are you doing this? Why would you give out your secrets? Um, you know, we just want to give back. We want to encourage you. Um, you know, we want to encourage entrepreneurship. We want to encourage the food truck industry. We want to encourage, um, you, know, anyone who, who, you know, anyone who owns a business. Um, and if you're thinking about opening up a business, I want to encourage you to go after your dreams. Um, you know, every day is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. So, you know, make the most of what you have today and, um, you know, want you to be successful. And so whatever you learn, uh, even if you take one nugget out of what I say and you can learn from that, um, you know what? Praise God for that because that's what we're here for. All I do ask you... Uh, to do is please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, uh, you name it, at the Dumpling Bros Food Truck. Um, I want to engage with all of you watching. If you have any questions, um, concerns, uh, any kind of feedback that you want to leave, please do so, and I promise you that I will get back to you and I will respond either in the next video or in the comment section myself. Um, so again, I don't want to make every video so long, um, so I'm going to just do topic by topic. And today is obviously series number one, volume number one. So we're going to um, start off with uh, your genre and your concept. Hopefully by now you know what you want to do, you know what kind of food you want to serve. Um, Maybe you're, you're, you're thinking about opening up a truck or versus a trailer, and we're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, but you know what? Prove your concept. Um, how we started, we started with the food trailer. And again, if you don't know much about us, please uh, you know subscribe and look in our archives. You'll see a documentary about how we got started and, and my personal background in this business. Um, and just to get to know us. And so... Um, going back to, you know, starting out, uh, you know, you might be a awesome chef, uh, a home cook, or you have this awesome recipe and you just don't know if it's going to work in the public. You know, um, it's intimidating to think that, you know what, I have this pie recipe or I have this great lasagna and, you know, I don't know if, you know, it's, it's good at home because all my family says it's good, but, you know, will it really sell, you know, and, and that's, what a business does, right? It sells and makes money and it's sustainable. And so uh, I want to encourage you, if you haven't done that yet, prove your concept. And here's some ways you can do that. Um, find your local market vendors. Um, every city usually has like a market um, um, market vendor street, like on a Saturday where you just put up a tent and um, you can, you know, bring a little hot stove or whatever you plug in and make some food or if you already have packaged food and you know sell and get your name out there and get feedback from customers not your loved ones and your friends that are going to tell you hey you know great job your food is great and uh, you know then you put all this money into a store and there's no customers so you want real numbers you want real feedback you want the public to tell you if uh, your food sucks, your food is good, uh, your product sucks, uh, your customer service, whatever it is, they will tell you. So, um, you know, start off with the weekend market vendors and then slowly move into um, other events. Uh, there's events out there if you look hard enough that you can just pop up a tent 
and um, you know a minimal investment you know prove your concept for a couple months or so and um, you know numbers never lie so if you sell out and you know you have a great profit margin and you've done it for three months and yeah okay it's time to either open a food truck or a food trailer um, and so going into that uh, obviously you know wherever you're watching um, you know I'm in Denton Texas so we service all of DFW Dallas Fort Worth uh, North Texas uh, but you could be in Ohio, you could be in Michigan, uh, Oklahoma. So every city has different permits and health code laws. The first thing I encourage you to do is to Google uh, your local city health permit uh, for food trucks. Uh, food trucks are growing, but there are cities that have not caught on yet. So they might not have any rules. Uh, but you know big large cities like Dallas have many many rules and it consists of not only the health department But also the fire department that gets involved so you have two different entities that need to inspect your food truck and Some cities don't um, allow trailers like Dallas. They don't allow trailers to come in on a full year permit But they do let you come in on a temporary permit, but again, it's you know maybe not cost effective to do that uh, so definitely first thing you should do is Google um, your city's health code and health department and they should have a PDF online that you can print out and it'll give you a step-by-step -step guide of what you need what kind of equipment you need uh, what kind of water tank clear tanks waste tanks uh, what size piping um, how you know wide your aisles should be between equipment um, you name it so uh, I would print that out first um, and then from there obviously you got to get permits and so you go into your uh, local health department uh, hopefully fingers crossed you come across a very very nice lady or man that is willing to help you along the way and um, you know not knocking anybody because Denton is the bomb their health department I mean is you know, I, I'll be honest with you. If you do the right thing and you don't cut corners and, you know, uh, try to do anything shady, they respect you and they'll help you. But if you're, you know, constantly just trying to, you know, run circles and play, um, you know, mouse games with them, you know, obviously you're going to be at the bottom of their list. So, you know, my encouragement is, you know, try to do everything by the book if you can. Uh, after you know you decide a uh, food truck or trailer and let me get into real quickly um, the difference obviously you know common sense difference uh, trailer you have to pull with a, a truck and so um, you know most cities don't allow trailers uh, thank God here in North Texas uh, there are a lot of cities that allow trailers so it's really easy for us um, and also trailers are more welcome to festivals like carnivals and festivals and big um, you know few days like Thursday through Sunday festivals they allow trailers but they don't allow food trucks and then vice versa there's big cities like Dallas and other cities that um, only allow you know food trucks uh, that drive instead of food trailers um, and so you know there's pros and cons to both of them um, you know, but if you're on a tight budget, I, I would start maybe with the trailer because it's less uh, expensive. It's, it's, um, you can get more out of it uh, using a trailer and then grow into a truck just like we did. Uh, but uh, thank God we have best of both worlds right now. We have a trailer and a truck. Um, but here is just an example. On our truck, uh, we, we bought um, our trailer already built it was in business the guy went out of business we bought it we stripped it we put all of our equipment that we needed into it we modified it and we got permitted great then we got a truck uh, we went out of state bought it again came back uh, to Texas we gutted it out put our own equipment in it um, and then the motor blew and so you know we were stuck obviously the motor doesn't start uh, so we decided instead of you know you know fixing a old motor 
let's go ahead and just replace it. So we ordered a Chevy crate motor uh, and we changed the motor and since we changed the motor, we might as well change the alternator, we changed the water pump, we changed the radiator. Basically, we changed everything but maybe two sensors. So that was about $20,000 in just mechanical improvements uh, in the motor wise motor. And so um, you gotta be aware of that. So my encouragement to you, if you're going out there looking to buy a food truck, you shouldn't care about what the cabin looks like. You should care what the motor, transmission, um, you know, all the heart of uh, the truck. And just like a car, you wanna look at the motor and make sure that the motor's taken care of because that's your bread and butter. Uh, without the truck starting, you're not gonna get from point A to point B. So um, that is the disadvantage of owning a truck. Uh, if your truck breaks down, obviously you shut down for the day. Uh, on a trailer, there's no such thing as you know a, a trailer shutting down. Uh, if your pickup truck doesn't start, then you can just go borrow another pickup truck uh, at U-Haul or whatever and take it to your destination. So again, pros and cons for both of that. Uh, if you need more in-depth um, explanations, please leave uh, your comments uh, below. Uh, locations, um, you know, once you go through the proof of concept, you know, not just yourself, you know that, you know, oh, my food is great and your family thinks it's great, but you know for a fact that the public knows and thinks that your food is great. Now it's time to take it to the market and the market says, hey, it's good. Okay, now you go find a food truck, food trailer, Great. Where do you go? And you see in the movies that food trucks just drive from, you know, in that movie, Chef drives from Miami to like wherever, California, and stops and just, you know, serves food wherever it goes. And that's not how it works because you need permits for every city or every county that you encounter. So it's not as easy as what you think. Um, it's actually very, very hard. And, and I don't mean to discourage you at all, um, but it is a restaurant on wheels. You have to take your food in and out of your food truck every single day. You need to rent a commissary, which again, we'll talk about in a later series. Now you, you think about all these dreams of opening a food truck and you're finally there and you, you to put all your hard work and uh, equipping the truck and you know, doing all these things um, uh, with the equipment and you know, the wrap and you know, the rims and everything else. But then you realize, oh, where do I go? Well, I really highly encourage you to start networking now, start making relationships now before you even open a food truck to see where you're gonna go, where you're gonna park, uh, what's the logistics, what does your week look like, do you need any employees, uh, how many employees you're gonna need, um, you know, things of that nature. And you know, those are questions you can ask me and I'll be more than happy to, um, to, to answer those questions. So again, this is just volume one, series one, how to start a food truck, uh, to be an entrepreneur, start your own business. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's short, but um, please, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, uh, please g give me some feedback. Please follow us on social media. Tell me that you're listening and that you care for this and I will keep pumping out content for free. So thank you very much and I will see you soon. Came from the bottom, in the bottom, what's so cold? Ooh. Came from the bottom, now I'm hotter than a stove. Ooh. About to put my sons and my daughters in some foes. Hey, at first it was a dream, now we running, dumpling bros. We, yeah. we